Kathy Lim with StatesmanJournal.com and I am here at the control gate on Mill Creek in Pioneer Park near State. Now we were hoping to be filming at the origination of Mill Creek, but what I've been told it's pretty remote. We may not have access to it, so this is as good as we can get. We're going to set out, do a little trip, and map Mill Creek so you can learn a little bit more about the creek that flooded a lot of areas in Marion County last week. I'm standing on the banks of Mill Creek in Turner, which was one of the hardest hit communities during the flood of January 19th. Now that was just seven days ago, and as you can see, the water's still swollen on these banks. Now Mill Creek travels through five different communities, including Salem. We'll get to that soon, but right now we're in Turner, just underneath Delaney Bridge, which sustained some damage during the floods also. But pretty much the entire town of Turner was evacuated. They shut off the gas lines, declared a state of emergency here. And as you can see behind me, a ton of debris up against these trees. And it gives you a good idea of how high the water got and how much debris was carried during the flooding. We're in Salem now, just off State Street on 21st. And this is obviously one of the hardest hit areas when Mill Creek floods. Um, there's some sandbags here below me, and I'm going to walk right over here to one of the... This is the bridge on 21st Street, and it's one of more than two dozen bridges over the creek in the city of Salem. I'm on 21st Street Bridge in Salem, and on the other side of the bridge from where I just was, and as you can see below us, tons of debris collected up against the bridge here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to deal with that throughout the hard-hit areas for some time until the debris clears. We're here at the end of Mill Creek. Now it's a 30 mile long creek that travels through five communities in Marion County. Sublimity, Staten, Almsville, Turner, and now Salem. And we're right here at the spot where it empties into the Willamette River.